Hello, I'm Zizat, and today I want to show you once again something for the PSP. I have my little PSP Go over here. I'm starting. As you can see, I've modified it a bit, but okay. I'm running Farmer 6.20. And now I will install the 6.20 LME Custom Farmer. I know I've shown you this the last time, but this time I will show you a bit more. Screen is a bit dirty. Okay. Press X to install modules. Okay, it's done. And now it's rebooting the PSP into I think once again into the original farmer and then I have to use the launcher to launch the LME custom farmer. Up to now nothing special. As you can see using the LME launcher for launching the LME custom farmer. And now I'm going to show you the new thing, the permanent patch for the light minimum custom farmer. Like the complete port to the farmer 6.20, this permanent patch was done by Rahim, Rahim US. And this patch is all, was already tested on the PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, 03G and my PSP Go, so 05G. The only consoles that aren't tested yet are the 3004G and thanks to the uh, downgrade enforcement the 3009G but yeah. As you can see running farmer 6.20 LME 1.9 this is pretty close to LME 2 so yeah. And now I will shut down the device and when I start it it should instantly boot into the custom farmer. It will take a bit longer than a normal start but it will automatically launch the LME custom farmer at farmer 6.20. There we go. Starting the PSP and instantly in the recovery menu. Uh, not recovery menu in the custom farmer. I want to show you the recovery menu next. As you can see I'm holding the button to turn the device on and off. So it's definitely off and I'm holding the R button so it should automatically boot into the recovery menu. And it does. So yeah. This is currently the permanent patch for the 6.20 LME custom firmware. This will be released pretty soon. We're still fixing a few bugs and testing it at every device that supports 6.20. So yeah, this amazing work was once again done by Rahim US. And I think that's it. I'm dead and see you soon.